Oh, so okay. it's like it's not like you, you know, if he kicked the guy against the wall, he just goes straight to <laughs> <and> stab. <laughs> Yes, uh, Gut instincts and what we felt was right for ourselves. We only make films for what we want to watch ourselves. Yeah, so basically we had the scene where um, he has his machete down and he's just thrown a guy and as soon as he turns, then the guy comes in and grabs him by the throat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you grab him by the throat... Oh, no. So I'll be down. Yeah. And yeah. this Oh, and then you punch. Like yeah. Okay. But as he brings you down, the idea is like you know, the momentum of you coming Into down, and he swings up as you're coming down. So your body's coming down, and he comes up with an uppercut. So okay. even though he hasn't got much space for that uppercut, because of your momentum coming down, it makes the punch up harder. So Into you'd be done. Is that gonna move like the nut splitter or anything like that? <laughs> that's a ball breaker. So the thing is, I'm in worst, trouble now. Exactly. Right? <laughs> and that's like the worst thing you can do is go straight in with a kick. Yeah. So if you go straight in with a kick, you're already vulnerable. So in that scene, would that particular character die from the ball breaker or? No, I mean the idea is for every single attack, um, if he's not in a position to like kill the guy, then he's at least in a position to make sure the guy can't get up afterwards. Okay. So that's why they target a lot of like the joints and things, and usually the legs. And then the idea yeah. is just to create that chaos, is to make that feeling like there's no gap between movements. That there's no gap there where anyone has a chance to kind of read what's happening next. Bam, bam, bam. bam straight away, bam. <laughs> so there's no gap. And so what that requires when it comes to the fighters is this idea of that the timing has to be right. So the timing of each person has to be exact. So this guy, as soon as he's finished that hit, bam, bam, he's opening himself up. This guy who's waiting in the corner has to come straight in and then stab. We design a lot of different moments like that. So that's like one, we put that up on the board. We do another version, maybe like six, seven more. We put those up on the board and then we figure out what would be the order of events. So if I can borrow your camera for a second, actually. Yeah. Have a little play. All right, cool. So basically, you want to come in, come in from here. Okay. We're going to time your positioning right, okay? This is good. So when I tap you, you come in. You go come in, so then I get the hits. Bam. Bam. Come in, bam. bam. Stab, okay? So then as he stabs, he's going down. I don't floor. want to stab the star. You'll there'd be, be all right. There'd be no raid three if I finish him off. <laughs> hey, we haven't decided if he's in the raid three yet. Oh. <laughs> so then start, so you start. Bam, and then as he falls down to the floor, we'd follow down. And then what I do is here, so this is the idea of like combining shots to make it look like one take. Yeah. From here, I just move across really fast. Swipe. And then swipe. So basically, in that movement from here to here, I'll put a cut because I got mud everywhere. So I go from the start, so now yep. I'm going to roll the mud, and then action. Mm. And then I come across here, boom. Slams him down, then turns him over, and then push him down. And then I'll switch across. So the idea is that when we do that first shot, yeah. From here to here, and then swipe. On that movement, I'm gonna to cut to the next piece of choreography. So it looks like one, all one, one flow. Swish move. And so we did that for the entire scene then for the prison right. Basically, the idea being that um, we make this one section for like a minute and a half, two minutes, make it look like it's one shot going from one piece to the next, yeah. but really it's split, split, split into like ten different shots. When you grip them, it's a, it's like a flowing movement, right? So instead of yeah. like like this, and then trying to go from there. You want to build momentum, right? So you want to come like you know from there, there, and then from here, here. Yeah. So you always create create the momentum okay. because hands are heavy, heavy as anything can be. So like when you're swinging Especially them, you want to keep momentum. Foo, 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 foo. Okay. Are you are you ready now? You you yeah. okay? <laughs> okay. Uh, I can feel I'd be in trouble if this was a real fight. I'd actually be in trouble. 